Hello and welcome back to Southwest Pacific Ocean, uh, Solomon Sea, and recently also Solomon Islands, the, the slot uh, where we sunk Nagato uh, last time, which I believe leaves uh, Japan with not too many battleships. One Congo, if I remember right, one Fuso, one Issei, three. There are no Nagatos, and of course Yamato and Musashi. So that's five battleships. Uh, I would like to encounter these, and once I do and sink them, then that would be it for the episode, because that's what I wanted to talk about at the start of this episode a bit. Uh, you can see that we've taken all of the Solomon Islands chain, as well as Buka and Bougainville. Um, if I wanted to, I could take Buna and Lai very easily. I might go and bombard those things. Uh, anyways, just for a good measure. Uh, we have a level 4 uh, uh, air appealed here on the Gota Canal, but uh, at the F1 is coming there with the tons of uh, engineering and fuel. So we will bring that up, and then it's only supplies of which we have, uh, again, uh, lots of. So it's just uh, a few runs to get this and fulfill it. Um, therefore, victory conditions are almost there. I was saying that I might go for New Guinea, but to be honest, um, chasing the IJN 2 or 3 destroyer patrols is not that much fun, uh, hence I am not sure whether it's worth it. Uh, do let me know what you think, uh, because really uh, I, I want this obviously to keep interesting for you guys. Uh, if I would finish this campaign, which I would finish, I would just finish the building a uh, level 5 airfield here, which I probably would take about two episodes uh, after this one, uh, at most one or two. And then I would most likely start on the Ablacom campaign, but with the version of the East Indies mod 2, uh, which changes it from the previous one. Uh, there is a couple of changes which make it harder, uh, and there are some new bases, so that might be of interest. Um, do let me know what you think and we'll take it from there. In the meanwhile, I'll just uh, run the time and see whether we will get something interesting from these guys or whether it's just going to be more of the same. Air Force Cactus uh, has engaged in another destroyer patrol. Uh, on the map it was actually saying light cruiser, so I sent some Mitchells here as well as uh, uh, SBDs. Um, we will see what we'll get. The dog classes are coming in. You can see the um, destroyers up there. Uh, yeah, with the dog classes attacking a small target is tricky. Um, I am going to change a Vic into line ahead. That might work somewhat better with us. We are coming from a good angle, slightly behind, slightly on an angle. Uh, so. We shall see, they should be starting to dive shortly. Yeah, and the front plates are diving already. At least one looks very good. No. Nothing. Nothing. On the other hand, we haven't lost a dog left either, so that's a plus. Uh, we are going to attack with Mitchells. Uh, speed up, please. Uh, they were split in a larger... Uh, in 6 and 3. Um, I think that doesn't make sense. We are going to attack in trees. Okay, our Matrels are coming in for a ride. 
Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. But let's see. lost because they couldn't drop their bombs. But the destroyer is looking decidedly unhealthy. And she is indeed the destroyer is looking decidedly unhealthy and she is sinking. So our last Mitchell will go and attack the uh, a sport. Losing one Mitchell was expected to be honest. Uh, the second Mitchell that was a bit useless because they didn't drop the bombs. Uh, we'll see how it goes with this one. At 1600 pounders, armor piercing. Not surprised that this guy went down very, very quickly. Where is our Mitchell? Here it comes. Directly from the stern, which is actually not a bad thing. Assuming it survives, it seems to be damaged. That was indeed a very, very, very good hit on the stern of this uh, small destroyer, destroyer escort. That that should have blown off really the stern, but unfortunately, uh, the damage here doesn't allow for breaking up things, which is a real pity. thing. Uh, I like these things in Silent Hunter 4, where you go and the ship breaks up and stuff like that, like things fly off. Uh, yeah, it's uh, especially considering that it's uh, like uh, a 15 years old game, and you can get damaged ships, things like that. Just one propeller is going, rather a stock. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Uh, we are off. One sunk, motor damage, or two lost airplanes, that's okay. RTB. And Dauntless is RTB as well. Task for Solomons uh, this time, uh, and another destroyer patrol uh, at uh, about 18,000 yards. So it's going to be another massacre. All we have to watch for is that uh, our lead destroyer uh, doesn't get uh, hurt, uh, but uh, we'll see. I am going to switch San Diego from Mommy to the second. Destroyer because the first one has uh, uh, not a great deal of survivability to be honest uh, So I would rather we would sink the modern destroyer than uh, This mummy Which we are going to sink regardless It dealt me I've lost them which I bit of don't understand because I can actually see them here on my binoculars uh, but I can't see them on the map you can see that it says uh, lost uh, so either uh, the sailors here have a really bad eyesight or I don't know and moreover we are still shooting at them probably not with a great solution yes solution two <clears throat> visibility is pretty good uh, we've got radar 
they are small ships, admittedly. But we can see the I can see the smoke here without binoculars. Sixteen thousand uh, yards. It's ten miles. The smoke that she was making, we would have been able to see in this visibility. I'm sending a plane there as fast as it can fly, but uh, that doesn't mean much because it's still only about 140 miles uh, knots. Okay, we've re-established the contact, um, so we will see what we can do here. But it looks like we might have hit the Sasha because she's slowing down a lot. A Sasha is definitely in trouble. San Diego is uh, doing its work, so it can now switch to Mommy. So the Sasha is not going to go any further except uh, uh, whatever is the depth of the sea here. I need to go and check uh, what is the uh, loadout ammunition wise on the various uh, US light cruisers uh, because it seems to me that uh, uh, I now have Brooklyn and it still seems to me that it's still quite ammunition light, sort of like one engagement type thing. We'll see. Really need to build a table so I can optimize my light cruisers in the future. But that's not going to. I think she's slowing down, she's going to go down shortly. And indeed, she is going down. North Carolina doesn't have any 16-inch high explosives. I think one small engagement and then we have to go and replenish. Uh, I am actually sending uh, this force here to build a second uh, naval base so that we get uh, something closer by. And here we go again. Uh, Dashboard Solomons again. Oh, at least on the good side, uh, that means we will have to go and uh, rearm. Unfortunately, I still cannot see the other destroyer. I uh, don't know why, but nevertheless. But right now, it's getting pretty close to the from stray shots, as you can see, are hitting it actually. Um, so I don't mind. Okay, now we can see number two, and we are already targeting it with San Diego. By my count, uh, an estimate rather, I could say then account, uh, Japan has still about uh, between 20 and 30 modern destroyers and about the same number of uh, escorts really. So quite a lot, but they start the game with a lot of destroyers. Destroyers is something that it's very hard for Japan to run out of. Especially when you sort of meet them by ones or twos. You mean uh, nine, eight, then you can make a sensible turn into the population, but uh, with one or two it's, it's too hard. Oh, he has another magazine explosion. Oh wow, more pity. Just when I was checking my good friend San Diego. And another Fubuki hits the bottom. I was 
we've hit the lead arm. And it looks like the lead arm turret is out of action. All turret. It's not really a turret, it's open. Um, but it also looks like she has slowed down as a result, which is often the case with stern. That's why I keep saying stern hit is good hit. Slow the opponent down. And slow opponent is a dead opponent. Of course, someone like a battleship can still take a lot of combat. Even once uh, uh, if we slow down, but that uh, is a very escort count. And she is indeed going down. Okay, song. And we shall go and replenish. And more of uh, IJN destroyer patrols, uh, this time in slightly different formation, but it's okay. Uh, at least they are uh, reasonably far away. I am engaging already. Um, it's a Fubuki. I split my forces into two lines and they are going to engage. Chevalier, you can start running smoke just because. They are already running, but we will see. I have also sent some Dauntlesses here, but they haven't got here yet. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure whether I'll probably just send Dauntlesses back. It's uh, not a uh, not much of a use wasting Dauntlesses on this, to be honest. Risking uh, one of them or something being thrown down, it's... Uh, we are going to destroy these guys uh, by gunfire. Good old way. We saw that we already scored a couple of hits. Uh, which probably means that she's slowed down. Good hit to the bow. All of that slows her down. And as you can see, she has quite a list by now. And you saw the Wakatake there in the back is just getting covered by shell. A lot of fire coming her way. We've lost the sight of them for a while again I don't know why because uh, this uh, uh, plume of smoke has been you can see it or I can see us playing smoke here uh, and this is a bigger plume of smoke uh, so I don't know how the game resolves this ability it looks like Wookie is more or less dead in the water
this book is still moving, albeit very, very slowly. And uh, we start getting our destruction turn effects. Uh, the scout plane, instead of doing the correct thing, well, there is no correct thing. The correct thing is to run as fast as you can, uh, which she sort of tried, but. Uh, that luck really. The amount of uh, ammunition, the amount of shells we can put out is uh, way beyond what they can sustain. And I think less Kabuki is going to go down, yep, in the very quickly. Nice hit to the bow. And off she goes. Thank you and goodbye. RTB. Task Force New Britain off the south coast of New Britain has just jumped a uh, another uh, patrol. Uh, the usual two escort destroyers want a new class destroyer, and uh, it's a very short distance as you can see here. Uh, it was so close that uh, we were able to see it uh, use uh, uh, searchlights, uh, not from the goal. But we are going to retarget. Uh, because I don't want us to suffer a torpedo hit. Oops, Juno has been hit rather badly. Um, which I don't like at all. Do you have any star shells? Yes, she does. Okay, uh, it's another booking. What? Oh, there is plenty of star shells. I would really like to know, because in reality, most of the time, Having a searchlight on was actually worse for the party that turned the searchlight on, unless you were really, really quickly able to shoot something down. The Fubuki is slowly turning into a submarine. Yeah, and there she goes. Okay, uh, Juno, fire at whoever you want. Savannah, fire at whoever you want. Juno, I think that's uh, indicating that yeah, the funnel is damaged, so she's not able to do her top speed anymore. We sunk Fubuki, which is good. I am a bit surprised that we can't see this Minikaze, given that she is burning. But again. It's been a day of uh, uh, how come I can't see them type things. Okay, we can't find those two escorts, so let's reef. Sunk, heavy, and critical. Uh, okay. We found them again, again at a very short distance, and you can see that uh, there is a lot of uh, searchlights being turned on on this Minikaze, which seems to be half submerged. Uh, I am going to get the Haven shoot at uh, number one in star shells. And where did you know? She knows here. Uh, I am going to have it shoot at number one. Yeah, this Minikaze is uh, getting slammed. Yeah, we are getting hit. Uh, by one of the Minikaze's, but one is sinking. I would suspect that's the one 
that we've uh, already uh, given some beating up before. And this one is already burning as well. Let's see whether we will be able to get some good hits on it. Yeah, we are. She's burning. He's done for. Yeah, magazine explosion. Let's cease firing. So we have sunk all of those in the end. Good. Well, Task of Britain is uh, proving to be pretty good at engaging uh, uh, these uh, uh, small Japanese patrols. We've got another one here. Um, doesn't look that the night is as bad, as dark as it was before, at least uh, to me. We are getting some star shells up. Uh, and Juno is going to target not Minikaze but whatever is number two. Uh, Minikaze uh, is getting illuminated by secondary batteries from Indiana at the moment. Uh, and uh, she already has a very slight list and are hitting uh, the second destroyer in line already as well. Whatever it is, it's a new system destroyer. And you can see that we are hitting it and she is readying her torpedoes and Minikaze is struck by torpedoes uh, which is funny okay so another run out of ammunition we are going to resupply um, yeah what are these things good for? It's uh, getting us to waste a lot of ammunition. I have no idea where the torpedoes are. So I'm just hoping none of them will hit me. That was nice. That would have been Juno most likely. Jeez, uh, her stern is underwater more or less. Um, she isn't going to last for too much longer. Yeah, you can see the stuff is burning, slowing down a lot. Um, and she is indeed sinking. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, in many cases it's a very very cinematic game. Very nice. Okay. And as I was saying, we need to go which looks like another Kabuki. I've also got Mitchell's coming in uh, a bit later. 
and uh, Task Force Cactus is also heading here, but uh, Task Force Cactus. magazine explosion. He had a magazine explosion. That means that she is very likely to sing. You can see that she is already taking quite a lot of water. I will trade one Fubuki for one uh, Dauntless. can see how she is uh, stern heavy. I'm surprised that she still has any proportion with her stern underwater and basically blown off. And she is finally sinking. Okay, uh, they said I will try the one bomb plus for a booking. Done. RTV, please. Where are my Mitchells here? Well, let's let's have a look. We'll see. And we are attacking uh, the second destroyer with our Mitchells. The first section is over there, the second section is here. Uh, the third section is a bit further away. I think she, uh, the third section will be in line uh, when uh, these two finish her player bombing. This one seems to be a bit too high. And we are getting the triple A. There was a serious bomb hit. And that was a serious miss. These ones will come from a slightly different angle. So let's go and hit it from the other side. We'll see how it goes. Two very good hits. Uh, these were 1600 pounders APs. Well, I will make this the final engagement of this episode. Um, once again, we now, I think, sunk most of the uh, Japanese Navy. I, if I remember it right, they have one Congo, one Fuso maybe one Issei battleship, but we haven't seen them for a while, two light carriers, and of course Yamato and Musashi. Um, I don't know, um, let me guys know whether you want me to basically sink everything or whether, uh, whether not, 
Uh, my preference right now would be to wrap up the series uh, sometimes next week uh, with maybe one or two episodes just to see whether uh, we will get anything or not and obviously I need to get enough uh, of supplies to get a canal to build the level 5 base there um, and then after that I would start an Ablek Home series as I was saying um, I am a bit behind on my Silent Hunter 4 series. Uh, I need to do a final episode, but I'm struggling uh, to get something interesting there. Well, there is something interesting, and I could finish the patrol there. But uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, there is not much else. So I'll see. Um, Anyways, uh, I would also start another uh, series, which is uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, most likely, just to do something else than War on the Sea. Um, hopefully some other new games will come out, I'm really looking to Task Force Admiral, uh, that looks very, very nice. That uh, doesn't have the strategic element, unfortunately, but uh, the, the tactical one looks just amazing from what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, we'll see what else will come out and uh, get in the series. In the meanwhile, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting. All of that helps the channel. If you already did so, you help the channel. So thank you very much. And I will see you with the next video. Goodbye.